Hello everyone, welcome to Data2 Info. In today's video, we will look at a mini project based on web scrapping. On top of that, a sentiment analysis, which is kind of a machine learning project, you can say, but not a fully machine learning project. So, in natural language processing, there is a library called VADAR. V A D E R. So, using this library, we will do sentiment analysis of the reviews or comments or any text content. So, we will go to any you know, e commerce website, let's say Amazon or Flipkart, and we will scrape all the reviews from the web page and put those reviews in an Excel file and do sentiment analysis on top of them. Uh, and uh, give the result. So sentiment analysis comes into uh, three uh, broad categories, which is positive, negative, and neutral. So we call it as a polarity in the weather. So it ranges from minus one to one. So let's just get into it. Let me import some necessary files. And first of all, let me show you. Uh, we are using this Flipkart e-commerce website, and this is the uh, what we call uh, reviews over here that we're gonna script i will give you the link in description down below with the code as well so don't worry about that let me just import necessary libraries first so these are the necessary libraries we need a request and beautiful soup to scrape the content we need pandas uh, import pandas to uh, manipulate the data into the file that is data frame uh, that is excel file we are talking about uh, we need this semantic intensity uh, sorry uh, sentiment intensity analyzer which is used for sentiment analysis then import uh, nltk which is natural language toolkit and we use nltk.download with our lexicon so lexicon is like a pre-trained uh, 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 sentiment analysis lexicon uh, which is like a language uh, which contains all the necessary meaning to the words and all the stuff so it's uh, very deep into that we don't have to go over there so let me just import uh, or just bring the uh, url real quick this is the url that we talked about uh, flipkart and we are doing the get request to it uh, we, we want this response uh, to be a content we want the content out of this response so we are getting the content uh, let me create this uh, object for uh, beautiful soup as a soup is the object for beautiful soup you can see and we are passing the content uh, using beautiful soup and on top of that we are accessing uh, the classes or the elements of the web pages using class names so we have done the two uh, step uh, extraction we are extracting the top div first and using the top div we are extracting the all uh, child divs this is the parent div one and this is the child view there are many child views under the parent view so that's why we are using find all and i will show you by using inspect over here if you can do inspect over here and go to uh, the highlighted portion you will find the class name that the class name we have used okay this is the parent class name that we have used if you go a little bit inside it see this is the uh, our content and this is the child class name so there are many child class name uh, which is similar so that's why we are using find all to bring all the child uh, classes deals okay after extracting all the content i want to put this in an excel file so let me just uh, bring the code to put everything into the excel file so before putting everything into the excel file i want it to put into the list so every child I want to put into the list and strip the content and I just want the text part of it. So how can I do that? Let me show you. So here I have created the reviews uh, list using for loop. I am accessing all the children's in uh, review deals. Okay, sorry, I have uh, misspelled over here. Reviews. So to be reviews. Reviews deals. 
and uh, I'm accessing the third div out of it. Uh, so this is in the hierarchy manual. So div inside div inside div. So that's why the child div I'm accessing first. Inside that there is another div. Inside that there is another div, and I want the content from this third div. So that's why it's like third div. And third div I want what text only. So dot text and dot strip. Dot strip is for uh, removing the blank spaces from front and back. So I want text and remove the blank spaces and give me the only text. So this is the text we got and we append this text to the reviews list. This is the reviews list. Okay. After getting all the text into the reviews list, what we can do? We can just put everything inside the uh, Excel file. So let me just bring the code to put everything inside the Excel file. So here is the code to bring everything into the Excel file. We are using uh, uh, Pandas data frame. Uh, we are putting everything into the Excel file. This is reviews. Okay. And we are giving this uh, review into a column okay so the column name is review and the list is reviews okay the column name you can give anything uh, as you want here is the column name review and i'm putting it into the file you can give the file name uh, according to your choice i'm giving the reviews dot lx sx so extension is uh, important comma index is equal to false why index is equal to false because by default it gives you the index 0 1 2 3 4 5 but i don't want index i just want raw content with uh, uh, column name only column name and below that all the reviews uh, listed down below whatever on that page okay so that's why i don't want in this when this is equal to false so after that uh, what we can do we can just go ahead and create the object of uh, sentiment analysis analyzer uh, sorry sentiment uh, intensity analyzer and uh, create the polarity out of it. What is the polarity? Polarity which uh, broadly categorized into a positive, negative and neutral uh, sentiment. So let me go ahead and do that for you. Okay. So here it is the code for uh, creating the object of uh, sentiment intensity analyzer which is SID seed and uh, I am using this uh, data okay data I have all the uh, uh, reviews into this uh, data objects data of uh, reviews I want to access the review column whatever column you want to access give the name of that column review and dot apply I am using the uh, lambda function to put uh, whatever uh, logic I will write over here inside this semantic weather uh, underscore weather uh, function name uh, it will go and apply over here in review okay I am uh, going and uh, giving it a parameter so this is like a text parameter so this is text parameter means basically everything inside that file uh, the each cell or each record will be going into this sentiment underscore radar function now everything i'm going then uh, assigning to a third and different data and uh, a different column this is a different column name so i want to create a different column name uh, in the same um, file or you can create a new file you will create a new file no no problem so inside that uh, file only creating a new column called polarity and showing the polarity which is positive, negative, or neutral. So this is what the semantic analysis is. So let me just go ahead and create this uh, semantic radar uh, function uh, real quick for you. Uh, let me just create it over here only. So here it is. I have created the semantic uh, radar function uh, which is accepting a text. So this is the object seed dot polarity score is a building function. I'm uh, uh, going and uh, passing this text to it, and it is giving me overall polarity. This is a polarity score function which gives you overall polarity. Now you can do the if condition and ask it uh, if the overall polarity of compound. So what is compound? One more thing. You see the positive, negative, and neutral. These three, three broadly categorized into uh, sentiment analysis. So if you merge uh, all of this, uh, it, uh, compound will give you a collective uh, 
result of a positive negative or neutral so what is the bigger thing out of this uh, it will give you that like an average you can say this is the compound so if overall uh, polarity of compound is greater than 0 0.05 this is important this value is very important if it is greater than 0 0.05 then it will return positive if it is less than minus 0 0.05 it will uh, return negative or otherwise it will return neutral so if it is out of these two values uh, uh, after these two values range it will return neutral so that's it so whenever this function will call this logic will be returned so after all this i just want to put everything uh, into a new file so we we scrape everything we put uh, everything into a list uh, after that list we put everything into an excel file we applied semantic analysis sorry sentiment analysis on this excel file reviews all the reviews and uh, let me just show you that uh, we uh, Okay, now I will show you in combine, no problem. So let's just assume that we have created an Excel file uh, of name reviews.excel and uh, all the reviews are starting sitting into it uh, row by row into one column. And now we want to create another Excel file uh, where we will show our result of polarity. So let me just bring that code to you. So here I am accessing this uh, path uh, which is the current directory only i'm creating a file name sentiment underscore result dot xlsx okay so extension is important so i'm creating this file only into this same or anywhere in your system uh, so data dot to excel and creating this result so i'm creating this file and putting everything this data polarity into this file so basically i'm creating this new column into new file so i can create this into same file as well this uh, this same file as well but i'm uh, choosing uh, to create it to into new file so let's just run this program and see if it works fine so what will happen as soon as we run it will go ahead uh, and on the web page it will scrape every uh, reviews and uh, there are i think 10 reviews on this page there are multiple reviews on multiple page you can go ahead and do the pagination and extract uh, multiple reviews on from multiple page but i'm from demo purpose i'm doing it for one page only so extracting everything putting into the excel file doing the sentiment analysis on those reviews and putting it into another excel file which is a result file so let me just run this real quick Over on the left hand side, it will create the things for us. Okay, the I think two things are created. The first one is reviews, uh, which is extracted reviews, and second one is sentiment underscore result. Uh, so we will see both of it. So you can see over here in my uh, local. So I have created two files, uh, reviews and. Uh, sentiment result first of all uh, let's me check the reviews it will have all the reviews that we uh, extracted from web page with the column name review okay now i will create another file sorry i mean i have created another file uh, which is result file sentiment result let's just open this one and see it has all the polarity for all the reviews so, right the polarity is positive negative neutral so whatever the good comments are there which is positive which has the polarity score from um, greater than 0 0.05 which is positive and which is, has the uh, uh, polarity score less than minus 0 0.05 which is negative so this is one comment only which is negative there is no neutral comment so you can go ahead and put uh, any comment which is, seems to be neutral it will show you the neutral polarity so this is how you can do a uh, sentiment analysis on um, using VADAR library v-a-d-e-r and uh, do the sentiment analysis on any reviews comments or text uh, content so thank you very much i hope you must have liked it please do subscribe to uh, data to info we will see uh, such many uh, mini projects in the future as well thank you check out this one